Now that's an old Beatles classic. One of my favorite songs ever. And uh, if you have a moment sometime, take a listen, good listen to the lyrics. And uh, Mr. John Len Lennon was, was onto something there. And he was on something as well, no doubt, when he wrote that particular song. Now, Sean O'Connell uh, and Airborne. Uh, of course, Airborne, that was the Airborne version. And it was not um, Miss Butler. <laughs> it was Melanie Scott. So it was. So that uh, was a bit of a mm, booboo on my part. Air Welcome, Sean. Good yeah. to have you. Thank you, Clarence. I can't believe it's 30 years. Well, it's almost 30 years. So I'm going to say it's our 30th year. Uh, people often ask me, uh, when did it start and how long? And it just dawned on us. I'm just kind of looking at you 30 years ago. I mean, you, you, you must have started music at, at conception stage or something. Well, it, it, it actually did, eh? That's somebody, <laughs> bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> I started playing when I was four, four or five years old. I was a church organist at the age of five or six. And wow. my, my mom has fond memories of me needing to stand and play because, you know, organs have got bass pedals. So, so at, the, at the age of five, you were a church organist? Yeah, I was a church organist at the age of six. Yeah. What four. would you imagine then that there's some music in your family prior to you? There is. My father's a church organist, or still is. Um, and my, we were, the family's musical. I've got a very famous cousin called Xavier Naidu over in Yeah, so Europe, in Germany. And, yeah, and he's doing exceptionally well there as well. Indeed. Like you, you were the you 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 the only oh. consistent C. <laughs> there, there, there's been a couple of stalwarts through through the years, but you you've been consistently and the only keyboard player for for Airborne. Did you start the band, and how did you start it? Yeah, uh, I'd, I'd say we started the band, and the we were a band at the time called Tarkus. Yeah, a great band, and uh, still know the the the, the 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 then members still very well. And we we started uh, playing at the five to four, and. Um, it was myself, Glenn Robertson, um, Mickey Rorick, oh. Aldred, uh, nicknamed Ducks, Jacobs, and uh, on drums, uh, uh, yes, I, I think it was Mike Hendricks at the time. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what I did was uh, had a look at, I just took a spreadsheet and pulled, pulled together just anybody, and the criteria I had was anybody that played with a band for at least six months, um, or... Uh, had basically um, recorded with the band. Right. Okay. And at last count, I was at sixty-two band members. So we've 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 come a long way. Was there was there a, 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 maybe a, a better outfit in your mind, or a more committed outfit than uh, you know the rest? Are there people that you want to maybe single out that have been absolutely central to creating this this brand that that so many people have embraced? Airborne. Yeah, I think um, the, the music musically, I'll I'll get to the musos. Um, I think really at the, at the the outset, we had no idea that we'd be having this discussion almost thirty years later. Um, the the whole notion and the era that became smooth jazz and club live music and jazz in the clubs I was actually started by Airborne uh, Mon Portal of uh, Galaxy and West End fame actually came and, and spoke to me about the crazy notion of coming to play in then the biggest disco club in so Africa Mon Portal is a founder member of <laughs> <laughs> and that's where Saturday Afternoon Jazz was, was formed um, and we we, we the, the, I'd rather be listening to Airborne sticker was pervasive. People had that on their bumpers, and uh, so musically, um, the band I think really the band that that made a lot of impact in the in the nineties uh, was was primarily Benno, myself, Benno, Benedict Mar on guitar, uh, Tracy Butler on vocals, Colin Peterson on bass. Oh. And uh, Ronnie van Eek on drums. That that unit, that core unit, stayed, stayed together, together for, a for a long time. Mm. Huh? For okay, so Sean O'Connor, we'll continue the conversation in a short while. We'll play some more of uh, Airborne music for you, and then we'll tell you about a reunion concert that's happening out in uh, September. One that you wanna be at because you're going to uh, reflect on 30 years and the kind of memories that comes with Airborne over those 30 years at that concert. I have absolutely no doubt about that. So watch out for some more Airborne stuff and the conversation continues right after these. So this is Hard Captain Speed and some me time on a Sunday night. A very busy Sunday night because we think you're going to be interested in the stuff we want to share with you. The fact that uh, Airborne is 30 years old and uh, they're having a reunion party and we're going to be reflecting on 30 years. In fact, uh, I've just posted on my Facebook wall, if you want to check it out, uh, Airborne back in 1989, uh, young Airborne, absolutely no grey hairs. Sean O'Connell and again, Melanie, uh, Melanie, 
Melanie yeah. Scott yeah. featured on 100 Ways. Um, Mel was one of those artists that just came in and went out. Oh, yeah. Um, as I said, we, the whole Airborne and Friends concept has always persisted around this core band, uh, and we would have really great mus musicians, t typically augmenting the, the core band, so vocalists, horn men, and women. <laughs> and Melanie, I mean, she's just such an awesome talent. Um, yeah. We, we, we just jumped at the opportunity to do the concert with her. Inevitably, great. when you talk about 30 years and, and, and a reunion of sorts, people are going to reflect back. And you've spoken about Mo Moan Patel and, and Galaxy. And some people are talking about the groove. Was there any place that you enjoyed playing at more so than, than another place? You know, over the years, if, if, if I'm honest, I really enjoyed playing for people. Uh, and and making music and just have, having people that that instant gratification was there. But if you know the Galaxy, the, the original Galaxy, very fond memories. Peter Sellers out in Paul, uh, that just transformed. Mm. It was Baker Street. Serious jazz lovers out in Paul. Eh? Absolutely, um, Baker Street. You remember <laughs> we we did quite a bit of uh, almost a year together. We we actually did the, the Sunday nights and. Uh, yeah. Uh, Montreal, very different. Only words. Yeah, and it's people and names, and some of them deceased yeah. that, that that comes through with that, with that, with that period of time, uh, as well. Oh, why is it that that Airborne has stayed in within the thirty years more of a Cape Town kind of brand than 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 something a little broader than that? Uh, I think it's because of my decision to remain a, a part time, full time musician or professional musician. Uh, I became a family man. A part time professional. Musician. Yeah, <laughs> I became a family or a father twenty one. Yeah, and took the decision that uh, a full time career would mean traveling and would would impact family life. And uh, so, a given full time that, musical career. Yes, a full time musical career. So but it was an alluring option for you at one stage in your life. Absolutely, I think it. Uh, I, I watch uh, younger people today working, you know, over weekends and their mothers and compl not complaining, saying a shame, you know, they're working hard. I realized that I actually played three, four, five gigs a week, over and above working during the day. Wow. So, uh, it, it took, it took a good couple of years when I finally stopped playing on a regular basis to get out of the insomnia because your system was so used to getting, getting three to four hours a, a night, uh, as, as a, as a requirement to sleep, you know, or to, to recharge. <laughs> 30 years. Where, where do you go from here? Are you still serious about this band? Well, you know, the, the whole event that we, the, the Airborne reunion, it's actually a jewel. Uh, we've heard people thinking it was going to be a concert. Absolutely, it's it's a big production, but it's a jewel. We're mm. wanting people to come there and bring their own drinks, that, like they used to in the old days, their own platters, uh, and there, there's going to be a bar. So and you're setting the tone for another 30 years. It's a, yeah, I reckon. Okay. I, I've, enjo I've enjoyed uh, the, the, the whole process of the reunion. Last night we we, we actually played a, at a friend's 50th. Daryl DeFoss was his, uh, it was a surprise party, and it was the first time in 10 years that Tracy actually sang with the band. And you know, rehearsing oh. is one thing, but but playing live well, isn't it it's frustrating? I mean, you drew on on on, and you were inspired by by some really great musicians. And these days, you, you you know, those great musicians you don't find on commercial radio. Most of the time, they're probably somewhere lost in uh, the world wide web, yeah. um, trying to find uh, their, their 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 space in a in a very crazy industry at this moment in time. How do you feel about music right now? I'm actually very enthused. Uh, you know, off air you were asking me about my, my business life and, and music life. And what I'm enjoying is being able to facilitate combining both. So it takes a business approach to put together a function of this magnitude. Oh. But it's really great to be able to bring together music. And I'm playing with younger players now. Oh. Y you know, Matthew, uh, my son, is, is, is doing pretty well. The oh. Jimmy Nevis I see almost every second day. And, and it's music and collaboration and, and driving. Young Darren English, awesome, awesome but protege. I, and I love playing, you know, so it. But I'm going to say they, they, they're probably going to draw inspiration from the very same people that you drew inspiration from <laughs> Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. I'm saying there's a bit of a dearth of that, that kind of magic that, that came with music previously these days. Yeah. No, there is. I mean, I, I was, I enjoy watching the, the eras that I enjoy. The Spyro Gyres, mm. four plays still pretty much, uh, fortunately there. George Duke, unfortunately. Yeah, no longer. Was, was I, he a big, a big? Absolutely. I, I sat about no more than five meters away from him at the North Sea in 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 the Hague, and amazing uh, the energy. Uh, so yeah, I've had. The, I met uh, Joe Sample recently. Um, b brilliant, you know. Sample Joe, and Joe McBride. Uh, 
you know, so I think there are still nuggets and, and, and wonderful players that, that we shouldn't allow to, 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 to become a memory. And I, so the airborne sound and inspiration, most certainly we can't run away from our past and uh, we'll try and modernize that but stick, stick with a lot of those roots. We have to wrap it up. I have some uh, young women over here as well who took part. And I'm glad they listened in on, on this conversation. It's not an in easy, easy business. And, and hopefully uh, through the open mic competition that they've been involved in this past weekend, uh, musical careers are going to be launched. So I'm, hope, I'm glad you're here listening to, to this man with 30 years of, of blue I had, <laughs> under I, the belt. I had black hair once upon a time. You <laughs> trust me. <laughs> and every single grey hair has got a musician's name on it. I'm, I'm seen that. Where is your reunion concert? How do people go about getting tickets and being part of that okay. memorable event? The reunion concert's at the Old Mutual. It's in their, their presentation room. It's a, a really, really grand, uh, large uh, venue. Uh, it's it's in Pinelands, and if anybody knows Pinelands, you you just or don't know, ask directions to the Old Mutual. You'll find it. And as you get in, it's on the complex. How to get tickets? Log on to www.airborneexperience.com. Uh, alternatively, you can call 082-374-6191. Okay. Um, and really, there's Facebook, Twitter. It, 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 there's, there's a lot People of are very active on Facebook So they can get it there What's, what's the address? Airborne Records? Airborne, Airborne Experience Airborne Experience Just go what, find it we, we are sold out on the VIPs uh, But the ticket sales are going really, really well at the moment So we really urge people Because we know via the queries And typical Cape Townians <laughs> uh, You know, they, they're now phoning and asking for yeah, multiples yeah. of 10 And we hope, we hope they no move doubt. sooner more than later yeah. I have no doubt We've got to wrap it up there unfortunately I want to congratulate you on 30 wonderful years I, I think there's just one blotch on, on those 30 years And it's a blotch that you allowed to happen uh, On four uh, different nights You allowed me to sing with a band And I want to take this <laughs> public opportunity To apologize for hurting no. the brand <laughs> That I did But uh, it's good to know that uh, There was a moment when I plucked up the courage uh, and and made a, well that was the that was the comic relief that we offered at a wonderful night out in Drifts no, a couple you, of times. You, 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 yeah. You're being a little bit on yourself. I think you've 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 okay, come a long I way. Say with, no, no. You, I sang <laughs> with Airborne like Melanie did. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know, Clarence, and and I'll, I'll, it's worth stating. You know, you've come a long way with the band. Uh, you've you've been an ardent supporter of local music uh, and and jazz and our genres, and even being able to chat like this is. There's a lot of memories in a ah, uh, beautiful memories. So thank you for that. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for the music. Cheers. Sean O'Connell uh, and you want to be part of that reunion concert.